Hello, 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 my beautiful family. How are you all doing? I hope everyone is well by the grace of God. Welcome back to Elisina's Kitchen. If you are a subscriber, please welcome. If you are new, please, you're also welcome. I want to thank you all, my beautiful supporters, for the amazing job that you all continue to do by me. I am so grateful and appreciative. God will bless you all abundantly. So, this afternoon, we are going to make a quick lunch. We are going to make geisha stew with yam and plantain along with some avocado. Yes, guys. It's going to be nice and easy one. I hope you enjoyed this video because I am going to enjoy making it. So here are our beautiful ingredients. All right, we are going to begin with some African white yam. We have here green plantain along with pear or uh, avocado. We also have here chopped uh, tomatoes okay we have geisha this is just a canned um mackerel i have here five sliced purple onions this is cilantro this is whole nutmeg okay we have here our uh, rosemary black peppers um this is our dry hot peppers <laughs> we have curry this one here is dry thyme this one here is shrimp powder, also fish powder. This one here is a uh, tomato paste. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it again. Thank you again. Let's get cooking. So we have here some flour oil. I am going to put, um, I'll say one and a half cup or less, okay? About so, let's try it. Okay, so make sure your oil is nice and hot. I have here my um, my onions here, and I'm gonna just put in here just like this. I love a lot of onions. Onions are very good for you, by the way, yes. yes. So we're going to fry it up for about five minutes, yes. So this is our hot peppers, okay, dry pepper. In here like that. Stir it very well. So we're going to um, cook this for about, I'll say two minutes. Yes. We are adding our canned chopped tomatoes inside here like so. Beautiful. I don't have fresh tomatoes. But if I did, I would prefer to use that. Since I don't have, I am using the can. If you have fresh ones, by all means, go ahead. All right, so while we're waiting for our seal, what we are going to do is, this is what I do, okay? I don't really, there's a bone here. The bone is kind of soft anyway, but I prefer to just like uh, take it out like this, and then I break it up just like this, okay? And put it, so I'm gonna do that to all of it, yes. Okay, it's been uh, 10 minutes. Our tomato paste is inside here like that. Very, very well. Oh my goodness, guys. It's going to taste so good. We are adding our spices. So this one here is all for this seasoning. Black pepper, dry thyme, dry rosemary. This is shrimp powder, fish powder. This one here is curry. We have our nutmeg here. I'm going to grate half, okay? Have my grater here. Yes, sir. If you're not, if you prefer to use the whole one instead of the uh, blended one, the whole one be careful because it tends to uh, it can slip. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna stir it very well. Oh my goodness, it smells so good, guys. Now, what we're going to do is. We are going to put in, this is the sauce or the broth from the fish. I'm gonna add in here just like that for more flavor or more fire. <laughs> okay. Just like that, it's so good. 
all right so now we are adding in our fish okay just like that beautiful beautiful At this point, please, when you stir it, stir it very gently because otherwise your fish is going to be all broken into pieces and you don't want that, okay? So once you put in your fish, in about five minutes, uh, the fish and the stew, everything is done. All right, my beautiful fam, our stew is done. My goodness, this is gonna taste so nice. I can't wait to dig in with the yam, plantain, and some avocado on the side. Ooh, it's to die for, yes. Okay, so now that our stew is finished, we are going to boil our yam and our plantains, okay? So first I'm going to do is I have washed the plantain of by the way and also the yam. Okay, I'm just gonna cut them like this and put on the side. Also going to move on to um clean our yam. Okay. Just like that. Beautiful yam, right? Mind you, I have also washed off the yam because sometimes it has a lot of sand and if you don't wash it, you're gonna transfer it to the actual yam, right? So it's always good to wash your yam before you um, cook it. All right, so we have our water here. Bring it to boil and now I'm going to add some salt to taste about one tablespoon okay just like that and then this is my yam I'm gonna put in the water just like so okay beautiful I'm also going to add some eggs which was not in the ingredients just like so this is optional by the way yes just like that we are going to boil it for about 15 minutes yes we also have separate uh, pot for my uh, my plantain the reason why I'm because I'm boiling the plantain with a skin and then when you do that it tends to change the water to really dark so if I boil the plantain and the yam together what is gonna happen is it's gonna make the yam looking black and I don't want that I'm gonna add a little bit of salt here too as well. Bring it to boil. This is gonna be about five to seven minutes. The reason why I am boiling the plantain with the skin is that, especially if you have a really low iron, it's very good for you, okay? So when you boil the plantain with the skin on it, it just kinda soaks in, so it's better for you anyway. That's why I'm doing that. So while we are waiting for our yam and plantain to be done, we are going to work on our avocado or pear. Guys, I love avocado. It's so good. Yeah. This is perfect. Oh my goodness. It's so healthy. I love this. I usually use it with um, whole wheat bread. <laughs> so yummy. <laughs> Spread it on it like a butter. Guys, try that too. It is so yummy. Just gonna drain the water off. Yes. Alright, so our plantain is done. See, this is what I was talking about. See how the water, look, it's all black. This is the reason why we bought it separately. Okay, so now what I did was that I changed the hot water and then I put our uh, cold water on here. So what I'm doing is just removing the skin from my plantain. Yes, I so beautiful. So now we have our yam. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dish it out beautifully. 
going to try and share this. Oh my goodness. It's been so long since I had yam. It's gonna be so good. This yam, man, naturally sweet. It's called Pona. Yes, Pona yam. Anyone who's from Ghana will know what type of yam that I'm talking about. Beautiful, beautiful yam. Amazing yam. Delicious yam. <laughs> yes okay we are also dishing out our plantain delicious plantain wow 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 there you go guys we have our stew so our stew geisha stew is done we got our plantain and yam. We got some avocado over there. We have some spaghetti. We have banku. We have rice. That's right. I just want to show you guys what this dish is to, what you can use with, okay? Practically anything. That's right. If you can use it with fufu if you like or eba. That's right. Right. Look at how amazing this is. My goodness, guys, this is not just so good. Just like that. I love this. This is a very simple stew that if you don't feel like cooking, you can just make this, and it's amazing and it's easy, fast, and delicious. That's right, guys. Thank you so much guys for watching Please don't forget to subscribe Like and share And become part of Ernestina's Kitchen family Because we do love big family Thank you guys See this is what I was talking about This dish is too eh? It practically goes with anything you want And these are all delicious food That we are all going to enjoy right now So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again. God bless you all. See you next time.